what uh, this is a new chapter uh, it's called second order circuit what is second order circuit we, we've got to explain this first let me read it and then explain it a circuit which includes two capacitors inductors or one capacitor and one inductor and any number of resistive elements are called second order circuit circuits or should have been mathematical model of this circuit is second order differential equation that's why we call it second order so what we are saying is this if a circuit has got two capacitors in it or two inductors in it or one inductor one capacitor in it and any number of resistive elements that means any number of dependent sources any number of resistors included circuits they all called second order why it is called second order although the number of elements is more than two because of this the number of inductors and capacitors in it the total number of inductor capacitor in it is just two that means the mathematical model is a second order differential equation so the order of the differential equation does not change according to the other elements the number of other elements included in this circuit that's why we call it second order so what could be the uh, simplest uh, second order circuit we could see it here a serial RLC circuit because there is one inductor one capacitor that's second order and one resistant uh, resistor element is included here resistive element included here and they are all connected serial that's why this is called basic serial RLC circuit and this second one is basic parallel RLC circuit this is second order once again because there is one capacitor and one inductor in it and we will be examining those two uh, second order circuits in detail how we are going to do it do the analysis that means write the state equations for these basic circuits we will be examining the second one not the first one we are going to leave the first one to be examined by you yourself so for this one we're going to write the state equations this is going to be two first order differential equations that we are going to write so the first uh, thing to do is writing the state equations the second step solution of this second thing to do is the solution of these uh, state equations these solutions we've got two alternatives one of them is mathematical solution the other one is the physical solution that as we have done it for the first order circuits so for the mathematical solution we're going to find the homogeneous solution and the particular solution add them up you can get the general solution in the physical case we're going to find the natural solution and the force solution add them up get the general solution so this is what we are going to do so that's the end of this video then